First, download the cluster flight data. Then, install Packet Sender. When you open the downloaded file, you can see it at the very top. When the installation is done, there are three packets that you have to create. To create the first one, type command on both name and ASCII section. When you type name in ASCII sections, hex section will be automatically filled. Next, type 192.168.10.1 on the address section and 8889 on port section. At last, change TCP to UDP then click save. To create the second one, redo the previous steps again. But this time, you need to type battery on name section and battery on ASCII section. After that, click Save. Finally, redo the steps once again and type AP on name section. AP, name of the broadband router, password of the broadband router, on the ASCII section. Then click Save. When you are done with the basic settings, separate the battery from the body. Check the name of the drone, password of the WAFI which is written inside of the drone. To make it easy write it down on a label and attach it on the drone. Now turn on the drone. The power button is on the left side of the drone. Wait until the yellow light blinks. Turn on the WAFI settings on your device and connect it to the drone WAFI. The drone on this video is Tello. When the WAFI is connected, the connected site will show up on the bottom of the drone WAFI name. If there is an OK sign on the ASCII column, the drone is starting its connection. Click Send on the battery column, then you can see the remaining volume of the battery. When OK, drone will re-be OLT and 3S appears, the drone will automatically reboot itself. When the drone finishes rebooting, it is now connected to the broadband router. When you check the WIFI settings, you can see that the drone and the WIFI connection is lost. This time connect WIFI with the broadband router. Turn on the Wi-Fi that is linked with to the broadband router and checks if it's connected. After then, unzip the Teleswarm on cluster flight data file. Do not panic even if there is a warning of malicious file, just keep on going. If you take care of the malicious file, you won't be able to work the drone immediately. After you unzip the file, go to AP Setup and open the memo.
On the memo, write down the broadband router's name and password. Write it down without spacing. Now, the basic settings are almost done. If you see multi Tello test file, there is a memo file called Tello Edu CMD. Open the memo and write one beneath correct IP. Most of the Tele drone has the same basic address which starts with ODQDG32EDB. The only difference is the four digits after ODQDG32EDB. Please write down the following four digits after ODQDG32EDB. When finished, you will then be writing the setting code below the IP. Do not adjust its setting code. Write down takeoff sync 15 land and save the file. Now, let's turn on the drone and fly it. When you open multi tele file after you have done saving, the drone will be connected. And you will be able to check its movements according to the command. Drone moving by the basic command. We have told you that we do not touch the setting code until an IP connection. The drone code after one refers to the very first drone that you have connected. So if you want to link other drones, you need to list to drone IP, 3 drone IP, dot, sequentially. The reason that we use the broadband router is to connect multiple drones. From below, you can write the command which we want to control. The most important thing that you have to keep in mind is to write down the command without spacing. It refers to give orders to all assigned drones. So, if you want to give an order to each specific drone, you need to write the number of the drone then follows the request. For example, 1, 2.
Thanks for watching. We will get back with more contents and special information.